What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So my sister really isn't feeling that well right now and she asked me to go pick her up some McDonald's so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna head over there, grab her some food and then I'll probably end up picking my girlfriend up and then we'll go to the P.O. box because I didn't go yesterday. I tried getting this powder shit off of my car yesterday with a water bottle. Ended up not being enough water. So I brought another water bottle out right now and some napkins. So I'm just going to wipe it off really quick. It's spreading everywhere, but it comes off pretty easily. There we go. All gone now. I just picked up my sister's food. I'm probably going to end up hitting both P.O. boxes today. And if you guys are a new viewer to my channel, the reason I have two P.O. boxes is because originally I had one post office box. But the people at the first one were getting annoyed because of how many packages I actually was receiving. So then I had to transfer over to a UPS store and they don't care how many packages I get there, which is pretty awesome. But I still like to check back at the first one every so often because it is still open and there sometimes still is mail there. So I'll just hit both of them today and see what we got. So I just got back into my car. I'm going to go pick up Lizzie right now. And we have a few things that we got to do before we do anything else today. Just like business stuff. And then right after that, we'll hit the post office. Okay, guys. So the other day, I said that I was going to get my car wrapped chrome blue. Now, I have a question for you guys. What do you think would look better? Do you guys think I should wrap my entire car chrome blue? Or should I make the hood and the top of my car matte black and then have chrome blue around that? I think it would look really sick that way. But honestly, I'm not sure what to do. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think would look cooler. I'm honestly just trying to figure out what I want to do. Don't hit him this Don't time. bang your head this time, Jace. Go ahead, give him hugs. <laughs> What's up? You want to give me a hug? I wanted to give you a hug again. He misses you. <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> Close the door. Watch your fingers. He's yeah. going to close it? There you go. <laughs> it's like every time I get here, he wants to come out and see me. It's funny because I've known him pretty much his entire life. Because only a few months after me and Lizzie actually first started dating was when he was born. And he was always over at Lizzie's house. And in case you guys don't know already, that's actually Lizzie's cousin. I'm not going to get into everything that happened, but pretty much Jay stays here at their house. But I just picked up Lizzie. And guys, I need to address something really quick. Now, I'm not really the type of person who likes involving myself in a lot of drama or hate in the comment section of my videos, but recently there have been a ton and a ton of negative comments towards my girlfriend, and I just want to address it really quick. So for some reason, everybody is assuming that my girlfriend is a gold digger. I don't understand why you guys are saying that, considering me and Lizzie have been dating for the past three years, almost four years now, and... Lizzie was with me before I even had any type of fame or any type of money. And the reason I say fame is because that's what other people consider it as. I don't consider myself famous in any type of way. And I could honestly give two fucks about fame. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit if I'm the most famous person in the world or if I'm a nobody and only two people watch my videos. Like, it doesn't matter to me at the end of the day as long as I'm making people happy. But guys, I would greatly appreciate it if everybody could stop posting negative comments about my girlfriend. I don't know why, but just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, within the past week, everybody has been, like, roasting her in the comment section for no reason. And there's also a bunch of more comments, not just about the gold digger shit, but everybody says, why does Lance pick her up every day? It's my choice to pick her up every day. I like driving my car. I get good use out of it when I pick her up. And plus, Lizzie actually doesn't have a car right now. But still, I, like, I don't care. I love driving this car all the time. But yeah, I hope that clears things up for you guys a little bit. I mean, it's your guys' opinion. You're going to say whatever you want in the comments, and I understand that. And I can't stop you from saying stuff, but I just wanted to inform you guys what the situation actually is. Because honestly, I'm starting to get fed up with the comments. I usually don't address shit like this all the time. But that's one thing that like I've seen every single day in my comment section for the past week or two. And it's kind of just annoying me at this point. So there's so much sand and like gravel coming out of this truck in front of me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's all hitting my window. Man, I hate driving behind trucks. And the funny thing is the truck's all the way on the right side, like so far ahead of me, but it's still hitting me. Look at it, you can see it all coming out. I gotta get off this exit up here, so I'm gonna have to be behind him anyway. But look at all that sand and shit coming out. Holy hell. Sounds like it's raining. I know. It sounds like a fucking sandstorm. I just had to stop at the bank really quick to handle a few things. And now I'm going to head back home, get my mom's car, and then head over to the post office. Well, both post offices. Pulling the vet back in the garage, Dad? Yo, where's your motorcycle? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's right over there. You got to get these numbers off. I got mine off earlier. Just water and like a rag. 
comes off real easy. I almost just left without grabbing my other post office box key. I have no idea where it is. I gotta find it real quick. But like I'm not used to going there anymore, so like I just never need a key anymore. Because whenever I go to the UPS store, like they know I come pretty much every day. So they always just have the mail sitting out for me already, which is really convenient. I swear, I go through this every single time I want to hit that post office box. I can never find the key anywhere. Usually what I do is I get the key, I just place it on top of this ledge, and then somebody always ends up moving it. And I don't know why I continue to put it there, but I'm gonna stop. Uh, but I have no idea where it is right now. I even have my mom helping me look for it right now We cannot find it anywhere So I think we're just gonna skip that post office today even though I said all day that I was gonna go there But unfortunately we can't even find the key right now. So we'll just go to the other post office I'm gonna go over to the post office right now and see if they actually could let me get into my box without me having a key for today because I'll just say that like I forgot my key or I can't find it right now and I'll try and find it. But they all pretty much know who I am over there because of how many times I've gone there and like how many packages we've gotten received there before. So hopefully there's not an issue with that. So I'm pretty sure I do have some mail there but they wouldn't let me to get it because I didn't have my P.O. box key. And the only way I'd be able to get it is if my mom came in with me because she was the one who came in here and helped set up my P.O. box originally. Uh, all good though, let's hit the other one. I am not even kidding right now. I've gone through three yellow lights like just as they were about to turn red three times in a row and I was like this can't be happening right now so it happened again so now it's four times like isn't that crazy I know I was like I've never had so many yellow to red lights right in a row like that we actually ended up getting a ton of mail today Lizzie's going inside right now to grab another package and then we'll be on our way and there's the final package it's a pretty big one <laughs> All right, let's get the opening some fan mail. This is our first box. It's pretty big. This is from Tim Humes Jr. Let's check out what's inside of here. Looks like we got a toy for Geo. That's pretty cool. Aww. We got some Starburst gummies, a whistle. That's pretty cool. It's a bunch of bracelets. Not sure exactly who this is for. Uh, we got some necklaces, some more bracelets. I see a bunch of Velveeta. <laughs> Warheads, Sour Skittles, Warhead Sucker Packs, Sour Jacks. Like a squeaky ball for Geo. Sour gourmet jelly beans made with real fruit juice. Red hot cinnamon candy. Thank you. Tim's birthday is also coming up soon, so happy birthday, man. This package is from Daniel Evanson. And here we go. Whoa. So what is this? Urge. Not sure what this is. Some type of energy drink, maybe? Labonville Jungle... I don't know, some type of gummies. Baby bottle pop, except it says Big Baby Pop. Guess it's their version of it. No idea how to pronounce that. And we got some Oreo chocolate. This is Norwegian candy. Rocket copters. <laughs> oh, I've seen these before. These things are so cool. Thank you. Hi Lance, big fan of your vlogs and pranks. Want to say hi to Grandma and hope these are kind of fun from Sarah and my two-year-old Jack. Thank you, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. It's like we got another knife. Oh, this is crazy looking. Or maybe give some baby pops back. So cool. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. This is from Skylar. Thank you, Skylar. See, this is convenient. There's blades on Sorry, both ends. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> another flute. Uh, Ride on yeah. whale. I love that. That's so cool. That's yeah. Hi, Lance. I don't know why I'm obsessed with buying you pool toys, but here you go from Simon Klein. Simon has sent us so many pool toys. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Simon. This package is from Caressa Suter. Oh, we got some raspberry lemonade. Thank you, Caressa. And she also said Lizzie is super pretty. Aw, thank you. It's like something that you build. Oh, wait. Is this kind of like Google Cardboard? I think it actually is. But it's not Google Cardboard. It's like something similar. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Oh my god, that is sick. That Thank is you. Nice. It's a charger case for your iPhone. This will definitely come in handy for me. Thank you. Oh, that's that's nice. awesome. You used to have them, but it, you got yeah. them out in the car. I've had so many battery cases and they always break, but this is sweet. Thank you. What? Wait. Uh, Mickey waffle? Mouse Waffle Maker? Uh, that, that is, is so, so cool. That is so sweet. <laughs> I'm definitely I guess I'll be making waffles. <laughs> Mickey Mouse waffles, Grandma. How about that? Hi, Lance. This waffle maker's for Lizzie. Hopefully, she can get some good use out of it. Say hi to Lizzie for me. Thank you from Jordan Dazzo. I sent a mug. It's either there or coming. So this is for Lizzie, but How about that? I mean, we can either leave it here yeah, and make you, waffles, or you can leave it here and make waffles. So All right. You guys always make breakfast, so thank you. And then there's also something in here. They said this is a mug for me hitting one million. Aww. So let's see what it says. Vision, success, belief, patience, strength, win, passion. Just a bunch of inspiring words on here. Thank you. Hi Lance, this is my first fan mail, so I hope you enjoy it. It's a camera mount for your R8. From Cameron, P.S. Love the vlogs. Thank you, Cameron. Awesome. Thank you. Here we got another car mount. Hi Lance, this is so you can stop holding your camera while driving. When it's really hot outside, I would suggest taking it down so the heat doesn't melt the silicone off. 
Enjoy your gift from Sabrina. Thank you. And here we got an iPhone case. Thank you. I don't trust this. I feel like it's going to explode. Definitely going to explode, but... <laughs> Fucker, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Then why'd you open it? I don't know, because I felt like it. Bonnie, gotcha. I'm never opening packages like this from now on. In this package, we got some type of peppers. They kind of look like the Carolina hot ones. Yep, Carolina Reaper peppers. Yeah, they're hot. These are like, I think, the second most hottest peppers in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god we got more peppers. <laughs> these are ghost peppers though. All right, so right now we got to clean all this glitter up and we also have to get all of these boxes up. Look at all this, guys. It's insane. You gonna help out? I probably don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just got the majority of trash cleaned up. There are Nerf bolts everywhere. I gotta pile all these up and get them all organized and everything. But we're just trying to get the last bit of the trash and then we'll bring that bag out. These crybaby sour gumballs are so good. And here's the thing, they're sour, but they're not sour enough to the point where it's like not enjoyable, like Warheads are. I kind of don't really enjoy Warheads that much. I just do it because it's funny when you eat a lot of them and your face is like cringing. But these taste pretty good. We're going to try out these rocket things that somebody got me. Um, I've seen these all the time, like whenever I go down to a boardwalk or to a beach, like people are always selling these. But I've never actually had one, so let's try it out. So it comes with a few slingshots and then it comes with the piece itself. Ooh, these LED lights are bright. It's perfect for nighttime. I know, I guess. Oh my god. What? <gasps> that was so close to your car. I know, that didn't go as planned. Like, the wings were supposed to fly out. It was like, supposed to, like, twirl down. I didn't do it correctly. But did you hear the whistle? <laughs> yeah. So, I actually didn't do that correctly. That's why I didn't go how it was supposed to. You were supposed to fold the wings and then launch it by that green piece at the bottom. So, we're going to try it out again. Liz is going to try it right now, actually. Pull really hard. Go. There you go. <laughs> I kind of like when it wasn't folded though. It went really high. I know. Let's not let's unfold it. Holy oh crap. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Oh, now I know how it works. I get enjoyment out of the simplest things. Like these things are pretty cool. We're going to be eating dinner pretty soon and then after that I actually want to try out that funnel cake maker again cuz the last time I used it was about 2 months ago when we first got it. I wonder if there's funnel cake mix that I can buy from a store though that actually tastes like super good. Don't get me wrong, the funnel cakes we made last time were pretty good, but they could be better. So I'm actually going to look that up right now. Maybe CVS or Walgreens sells something like that. So I just looked up the funnel cake batter on Walmart and I actually do have it. So before we have dinner we're gonna head over there right now and grab it so we can make the funnel cake as soon as dinner's over we just have to bring Gio out real quick so we can go potty good boy. Ow. you said good boy as soon as I slapped your butt because <laughs> like I'll just slap your butt and every time you say good boy from now on no. right <laughs> all right guys I, I don't really know the best way to say this but I don't think me and Liz are gonna be together much longer <laughs> I'm fucking playing <laughs> I, I was trying to trick you actually, but you didn't fucking fall for it. She looked at me like first with a sad face. And because then... you would have broke up with me before you vlogged it. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Alright, get out. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, let's, <mwah> let's get over to, where are we going, Walmart? Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> yeah. We just got to Walmart, now we just got to look for the cake section. Oh wait, I found it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, cake mixes. Let's see what's in here. We can not seem to find it anywhere. So Walmart didn't pull through. We're gonna head over to Sam's Club right now and see if we can get it there. So we were about to come into Sam's Club and I kid you not guys, a 60 year old guy beeped at me and he, he's like, come over here, come over here in his car. And I went over there, he's like, are you that dude on Facebook? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's me. He's like, I love your shit, man. I watch it all the time, it's so funny. And I was like, thank you, that's that's so crazy. Like, I would never expect like 60 year old guys to watch my shit, but like, they love it, it's insane. Because my grandmom's like 70, she barely knows how to work the computer. So it just blows my mind when like people of that age actually watch my stuff, it's so funny. Looks like Segway finally released their board. If you guys remember, I tried this before. It actually has an app on the phone that you can call it back to you. That's pretty cool. The thing about Sam's Club is everything comes in bulk. So like, look at this big ass jar of mayonnaise. That's insane. Big jars of pickles. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> doesn't it? It looks amazing. Damn. Alright guys, well Sam's Club doesn't have it either. We're running out of luck within these past few days. Like, before we were searching all day for that ice cream maker, and now we can't find funnel cake mix. I mean, I could easily just make our own funnel cake mix, 
but I want one that tastes like really, really good, yeah. you know? Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. I check on the website. They say they have it. Then I come here and they don't have it. What the fuck? I just called up a shop right that's a pretty far distance away, and they said that they might have it. So I'm gonna be pretty pissed if I go there and they don't have it. <laughs> they said they usually carry it, so let's head over there and see. Yo, this could not get any worse for me trying to find this funnel cake. You guys can't see it, but there is so much traffic. God, it's rush hour. I didn't even think of that. Look at this. Now I gotta squeeze my way through somehow. All right, here we are, shop right. Let's see if they have it. I'm literally about to flip out right now. You found it? Fuck off. I'm sorry, off. I'm sorry. No, because we just sat here looking for like three minutes. I was like, they gotta have it, they gotta have it, they it. and they don't. Um, all right, whatever. I guess, I guess I'm just gonna make the batter myself. But guys, you know what I did find? Look at this. These look honestly amazing. They're Funfetti pancakes. I definitely want to try these out. So I think I'm gonna grab these, and I also had this challenge video idea, so I grabbed pizza pans. Hey, we didn't get what we needed, but we still left with something. I got pancake mix. That looks pretty fucking bomb, to be honest. But yo, maybe we can try to make funnel cake out of that batter. That'd be really good. That would, yeah, that would probably be honestly amazing. We, let's try it out. Okay, guys, so there was just a cop riding my ass hardcore, and I thought he was gonna pull me over for some reason. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was going to speed limit. Everything was fine. But then I see him pull his phone out, and he starts taking a picture of my car. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. Like, I was getting nervous. I thought he was gonna pull me over and then he just ended up wanting a picture of my car. We've been out for like an hour right now. I guarantee our dinner's probably done and they're probably all done eating already. And yep, it is. Everybody ate already, Ma? Yeah. Well, I told you that we were going to eat and you decided to go. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to be out for an hour. Okay, so we're going to use the pancake mix one time and see if we can get it right. If it turns out terrible, honestly, I think I'm just going to go buy funnel cake because of how much I'm craving it and I want good funnel cake. And my mom also wants funnel cake now too. So, I might just end up doing that. I, I was like, what the hell is that smell? And I plugged it in. I didn't realize it was on and there's stuff inside of it. Uh, it's like burning the plastic okay, right now. I think you need to throw the whole thing away because you just burnt plastic inside of it. No, actually, you know what I did burn? Oh, no, look at, the, look at the paper towel. <laughs> That's what I burnt. Okay, well, you need to let it cool down and then we need to clean it out really well. Uh, why would I throw it out, Ma? Exactly. <laughs> All right, you know what, guys? Fuck this. I am just going to go and get funnel cake Yay! my... She wants it. I'm gonna go get funnel cake and just pay for it because we ran into another issue. I don't even have oil. My mom used the last of it and she didn't even tell me. So I was looking all that time for nothing when I could have picked up oil when I was at the store. We're, we're, we're running into way too many issues. I'm just gonna go pay for it now. Before you leave, clean out the mess. I know. You guys remember how I ran into the gate the other day? Well, I just fucking did it again and Lizzie was laughing at me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm about to stop going to stores to buy stuff and just buy everything online because it just saves the hassle. Like, going and spending like an hour trying to find something, going to all these different stores, it's not, it's not worth the time to make. Dad and Gio are coming, too. Come on, G. <laughs> What's up, boy? <laughs> Is he doing it again? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand it, but he hates when I blow dry him. He hates when you blow in his face too, but he loves that. Makes no sense. I just zoomed in really far on his face. Just ordered our funnel cakes. They said it's gonna take about 15 minutes to make. I guess my dad's trying to get Gio to go to the potty. So we got four funnel cakes. Got it in a bag too. Look at Gio, he's trying to climb out of the car. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Mm. I am in heaven right now, it's just so good. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, you got me, boy. Come on. Everyone's watching a movie. What is he barking at? There's nothing over there. He's got to pee. 
All right, guys, so it is currently the next morning at 8.30 a.m. To be 100% honest, I was extremely tired all throughout yesterday. I didn't get a chance to end my vlog, and I didn't even get a chance to continue vlogging, which I wanted to. I passed out around 9 o'clock last night. I was so tired, I didn't even drive Lizzie home. I don't even know how she got home. But I just felt like complete shit that whole day yesterday, and I honestly really needed that sleep. I slept for almost a full 12 hours, which is great. I haven't had that much sleep in the longest time. So hopefully today's a better day. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I really need to start editing this vlog. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I will see you guys next time.